This is what tectonic faults look like on Earth. This is the continental divide in Iceland, where the American and European plates are spreading apart. The cliffs at the edge of the plates look out over a plain of new crust formed from molten lava pushing up from the centre of the Earth. Carolyn Porco, head of the Cassini imaging team, thinks that something similar may be happening on Enceladus. It is one of the most unique places in all the solar system, and you can tell that just by looking at it. And we think that it's possible that there is something similar to what's happening right here, where you might get slushy ice, viscous ice that comes up through the cracks, okay, and creates more surface ice, the way you get more crust created right here, mm. pushing things out to the side, and it's buckling by the time it gets to what is now the mountains. Oh, so it really is similar to Iceland, actually, where you're getting lava welling up from the surface and creating new land. So in the same way, you've got ice. We think. Possibly. Yeah, in fact, it gives us an indication of just how this whole system down there may be working. The next clue that something was happening under the surface came when Cassini flew directly over the South Pole. Thermal readings showed hot spots under the tiger stripes. For some reason, the stripes were much hotter than the rest of the moon. Cassini has found the unthinkable. It's found that the this southern tip of Enceladus is excessively warm. There's more heat coming out of the south polar cap, if you will, of Enceladus than is coming out of the equatorial regions. It would be like saying there's more heat coming out of Antarctica than the equator on Earth. Then, one day in November 2005, Cassini photographed Enceladus just as the sun was setting behind it. What it saw became one of the most remarkable discoveries ever made in the outer solar system. The backlit images reveal giant fountains erupting from the South Pole. Volcanoes blasting out ice instead of rock. 